hello guys what's up welcome back to our tech is and in this video we're going to show you how to fix iphone is disabled problem so as you can see this is iphone 6 in my hand and uh, basically this is a completely new way uh, a new way of fixing a iphone is disabled problem because uh, now in the month of feb 5th uh, there is new uh, itunes updates comes and there is diff there's three different changes which comes with this uh, uh, restoring a iphone disabled problem so basically you have to use the original cable which comes with the phone and the itunes who guys uh, don't know from where uh, to download the itunes just check the link below the description you can get the link there and in this method the change is that uh, you don't have to connect your phone again and uh, two or three times to detect your phone to down first time to download the uh, I uh, ipsw file second time to reconnect it and th third time uh, to to rest restore it so we directly uh, connect this to the phone and let's uh, wait about uh, uh, first of all let me uh, open the itunes on my computer uh, there is here itunes is and it will uh, now in this uh, first time uh, whenever you uh, first time connect your IT, uh, iphone to your computer you will it will install some drivers so wait for installing the drivers so as you can see it's installing some uh, icon drivers so it takes around uh, one 30 seconds to one minute hardly let's see it's installing okay it's installed so so let's now check it okay connect and now in this uh, now in this new uh, new uh, way of fixing iphone is disabled problem there is no means uh, the phone is now not going to uh, stuck on the itunes mode yes now the phone is not going on itunes mode it directly going on dfu mode means the blank screen so let's see it so first of all okay let me hold the yeah this still connecting up to it let's cancel it okay now hold the uh, power key and the home key until the phone goes to blank screen so and the phone until uh, phone detect on the computer just uh, hold the home key and the power key hold it out and when your phone goes blank just simply hold the home key as well as you can see still again uh, installing some drivers and it's ready so here it is it is now put the phone okay now click over the okay and restore so here is the phone's logo restore restore that next right to next next okay now as you can see it's uh, downloading the process and don't remove the phone yes in previous method you uh, can uh, use the phone uh, you can remove the phone and come back to later uh, for uh, restoring restore it but now in this method do, you don't have to restore uh, you don't have to remove the phone is uh, let the phone connect as it is so the phone is uh, now the it's downloading so after the download it all will automatically uh, restore the restore process will start so as you can see the, the download is completed and the restore process is automatically started in this phone in this new iTunes so this is the change which comes with the uh, new iTunes version and let's uh, fast forward this video
to check it out uh, all the solution for iPhones and it seems like it's completed so the phone when it will complete a phone a small phone logo will appear and in the home on the home it's will iPhone so just remove the phone and turn it on and the first boot will takes uh, so it takes around just like a, a norm much time not just like it from normal much more time as than normal so let's see yeah. right starting okay it's uh, on as you can see so this is the way in that way you can easily uh, fix the iTunes uh, um, means uh, iPhone is disabled problem or you can unlock your phone so thanks for watching it